Hey guys, it's Lauren. Right off the bat, here are all of my socials and you should go follow them if you don't already. So today's video is gonna be a little bit of a throwback into the old editing community. And I'm not talking about like COVID time editing, like 2020, I'm talking about straight off of the death of Vine. May she rest in peace. These are 2018 style Instagram edits. I remember scrolling on my explore page and seeing so many edits of like the Dolan twins, Lauren Gray, Riverdale. Oh, and a lot of Teen Wolf. I swear people could not get enough of styles, but basically I remember this time in the editing community really really fondly and I just want to feel that nostalgia again So that's why for today's video I'm going to be making an edit in my 2018 editing style and then after I'm done with the edit I'm actually gonna post it and see if people have anything to say about the change in style All right enough said let's get into the video today I will be editing who I consider to be the face of the 2018 editing community You already know who it is. It's Lauren Gray and for the audio I feel like I could not have picked something better. What was the most iconic things of 2018? Black Panther dropping. And what was the best song in that movie? All the Stars by SZA. It brings me back to a place and a time. Can I be that happy again? I don't think so. And one thing about me, I'ma take my sweet time when it comes to editing. <laughs> so to avoid making this video like 10 hours long, I made sure to cut my clips and then add the most 2018 style background ever. What you do is you make a mask of the person. For the background clip, you change the tint to whatever you want the color theme to be. Then you add a sparkle layer, a plasma layer, of course. God, I have plasma PTSD, Oh. So for the background of my intro, the first thing that comes to mind is galaxy print. It's simple, it's easy, but it looks cool. So just like have it move a little bit. Yeah, space. Okay, for this I'm thinking a border is absolutely necessary. Something that just screams 2018 to me is that rough and edges effect. There we go, that's it. So I think I'm just gonna have it zoom in and also add some like 3D X and Y rotation. This was like a super simple go-to intro I always did. But a very important part about this video, I can't use any mid -grade. Graphs. Yeah, you heard me right, no mid-graphs. Because did I know what a mid-graph was in 2018? Absolutely not. So this is what my graph would look like if I was 2018 Lauren. Just right from the get-go, shooting it in. Pull that speed influence, we don't care. So same exact graphs for the X and Y rotations. If I was doing a speed graph normally, it would be something like this. Like, you know, cute, soft, delicate, nope. Yeah. Okay, now we're gonna do a transition. I used the hell out of in 2018, but still use now. It's because it's an absolute classic. You can't go wrong with it. It's the fisheye zoom out. And I do the overshoot because I'll have it like inflate before it deflates into the fisheye. It's 2018, I gotta add as many warps as possible. So I'm gonna add a squeeze warp before the fisheye. I must accompany this with an overly intense vertical shake. Biblically accurate. Okay, next is this clip. On a null layer, I'm gonna do what was one of my like most favorite and most used transitions. This is the rotation zoom in. You rotate your clip. I would always do plus 40. Fun fact, I didn't know until like maybe late 2018 or early 2019 that you could open up a pre-composed layer in After Effects. It's embarrassing to admit, but I admitted it. If I wanted to go in and change something in a pre-comp, I would just command Z undo. That's crazy person behavior. Oh my God, she looks so good. She looks out of this world. Old, literally because she's in space <laughs> Wow, this is serving already. All right, this clip is just gonna be coming out of that rotation zoom in. There's not much to it, you know? Okay, for these next two clips, this is just gonna be a split screen mask reveal. Again, like literally the easiest thing you're ever gonna see. You're just making two split screen masks. I literally cannot pronounce that. I hate when I have to say the word mask for a YouTube video, oh my God. Now I know what you guys are thinking at this point, where is the turb? I'm gonna put it on these two clips. I don't even really remember how to do it. Like, are there graphs? Oh wow, that was a lot. My turb probably actually looked like that in 2018. I just have like obviously higher standards for my 2023 self. We're gonna do some more 3D. I'm just gonna do a simple X rotation forward. Thinking about the 3D stuff that like editors do now and I do now compared to like the simple X and Y rotations I was doing in 2018 is just so absurd. Cause it's like, what was the learning curve to that? When did I realize like, yeah, I could have something just do a little flip and then being like, I'm gonna use 3D to make an entire room with a door that's swings open and bookshelves with books flying off of the shelves. And then there's also a helicopter that flies into the scene. You know, edits are crazy these days. And I will give it to myself, there was a little hack that I used to use in 2018 to make 3D flips look smoother. I would just take the last keyframe and move it over a little bit. I wouldn't have to do this if my graphs weren't so choppy, but Lauren hasn't learned that yet. Okay, I am so excited for this next transition because I feel like it really is just peak 2018. I'm saying that about everything, but like, I have a lot of memories, I'm an old lady. So I have two separate layers here, 
this is just a mask of Lauren. When I learned how to do this, I really thought I was the best editor. I'm gonna decrease the third position value for the mask clip so that when we do a 3D rotation, it like pops out. I remember the first time I saw someone do one of these, I was like, why is After Effects so hard? Like, I'm never gonna learn. And literally all you have to do is decrease one singular value. Yes, in some ways it is very hard, but like the parts that you think are hard are probably not hard at all, or at least like not as hard as you think. They just seem intimidating at first because it's like numbers, but like numbers doesn't always mean that it's math, you know? Sorry. Anyway, because the song is all the stars, I'm adding a star, of course. So if this top picture zooms out by negative 200, I'm gonna have the star zoom out by negative 100. So there's like three layers to it. I'm gonna do the same things to this next clip because it's gonna be like a clip sequence or whatever. Now we're gonna use a null layer to make this all move. If I was doing this transition now, I would just use like one big null layer for these next two clips here. Like use a mid graph, have it look smooth. No, we have to not only do more work by adding two null layers, but it's going to look worse. So, so this comes out of the X rotation and I'm gonna have it go into a Y rotation. Yes, oh my god. While I do this, will you guys let me know? Is my posture especially horrible in this video? Because, okay, yeah, of course it is. I've not been paying attention because I think ignorance is bliss, but maybe I should be. Okay, Whew. for this next clip, I'm gonna do a pretty popular combo of mine. So it's just gonna be a slide down transition, but with tiles instead of like mirror edges. We pre-comp that and have it come out of the original X rotation. I need my phone because I literally planned out what transitions to do. Try being an influencer for a day. Okay, I'm gonna have this come down from the slide. The actual spacing of my shake keyframes isn't that different now than it was in 2018. I just do my shakes like a lot less intense. So 2018 Lauren coded. You know what else is? Scale distort. And then this is gonna come out of the scale distort, but there's gonna be two moving on either side of the screen. You'll see what I mean. What I first gotta do is do a little shift left. Then you add this effect called mirror. You put this little dot in the middle and then, whoa, she's coming out of herself. She's coming, coming out of herself. That is, what is that giving? It's something so for apple, apple. That, it looks like the inside of an apple. <laughs> We add another warp this time. It is going to be the twist warp. Now I won't say it was my personal favorite, but it'd be a lie if I said I didn't dabble with this one every now and then. Honestly, she's kind of cool. Okay, so this shorty is gonna be coming out of the twist warp, but before that, we need a Polaroid in here. We we loved a good Polaroid during this time. Okay, this is gonna rotate in with Y rotation. So once the Polaroid picture comes in, I'm gonna have this zoom in, then out. Oh, girl, you're undressed. You're not wearing your motion tile. Oh, there we go, okay. So intense for no reason. I love it. I also feel like I've been paying those horizontal shakes dust. So I'm gonna do a little horizontal shake. Yes, Bugly! Ooh, I need to add some, what is it called? Those particles that are sparkly and that go around the person. I will I will add that at the end. You guys don't need to see all that. You know what, I'm gonna add some pizzazz. I'm gonna add a little rotating sunflower to the Polaroid. Okay, she's spinning fast. Damn, girl, you got somewhere to be? Okay, it would not be 2018 without a cube. I think everyone thought cubes were so advanced in 2018. I remember if I wanted to do a cube in one of my edits, I had to like mentally prepare myself. Like, if this takes me one year, two years, five years, 10 years, it's okay. And if I die while doing it, then so be it. All for what, this? I'm not gonna lie, the cube anchor point though, that's something that still gets 2023, Lauren. <laughs> you will have me crying, screaming, vomiting over a cube anchor point. I don't know which way I want this to rotate, but like low key, it doesn't matter as long as it's moving in some form. Again, in 2018, we're not like nitpicking the animation and the, and the specific movements and oh, why did you choose this transition combination? No, just move your picture and mind your business. I don't really know what to do next, which if in 2018, I didn't know what to do next, I would just do a screen Pump, so that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, and for this last part, this series of photos, we are gonna bring in what used to be my one true love. Film strip. The utter display of cinematic knowledge with this film strip unmatched. I really thought I was Tarantino with this one. Like, what we first need to do is skinnify this film strip so the squares actually fit in. Sorry, don't mean to body shame this queen, but maybe the night that you know. Okay, and this one is just gonna be like simple moving from one pick to the next to the next. But because I can't can't use mid graphs. This is most definitely about to be the choppiest thing you have ever seen in your entire life. We start the slide to the next clip, like right at the beat hit. So let's see how that's a looking. Oh, it could be worse. It's different, but different doesn't mean bad. That sounds like some anti-bullying stuff they teach you in elementary school. The same way like, oh, girls wear makeup to be pretty. And Guys have beards to not be ugly. I add shakes to my edits, so they are not atrocious. 
that was it, that was it. When I used to do film strips in 2018, I would add fisheye warp to it and then make it like slightly negative to kind of give like a, like you see that effect, right? And now for a very simple closer, we just changed the output height from 100 to zero. Okay, I'm just gonna add a couple embellishments, brightness and contrast, coloring, things like that. And I will see you guys to watch the final product. Okay guys, Mama's is back. The edit is fully rendered on my phone, so we're gonna watch it. Super pumped for this. And then after I watch it, I'm gonna post it on my main TikTok account, Candice VFX, and see what people have to say. If you're able to notice that this is a little different from my usual style, a lot different actually, then maybe you'll know it's for a YouTube video and you can say hi. Oh my God, the coloring matches so freaking perfectly. This is so me 2018. Damn, I still got it. Oh my god. The freaking haze flare on the coloring is sending me. I used to, oh my god, I used to add so much of that. If you're a real OG, you'll probably be able to say the exact name of this coloring. It is Raven 2.0. I totally forgot who made it though. Comment down below if you remember the username. And of course, that musically slow mo is like nature's original Twixter, so I didn't even need to do anything. And I think I figured out like the perfect turb settings and also the squeeze warp settings, so I'm pretty happy with this. I'm already scared for what the comments are gonna look like. Super modern. 2023 emo who from whoville edit never before seen or done hashtag omg page hashtag edit all right post okay i'll come back in literally a couple of minutes when the comments start flooding in it's been how long 18 minutes so let's see what we got oh my god this comment's so nostalgic lauren like 377x ac stranger bike so real this gives 2019 2020 so much okay i was aiming for 2018 but kind of in the same range omg eight people are actually liking this this is funny the nostalgia this is giving that was the goal devoured slayed nostalgia 2019 2020 vibes where velocities weren't as popular did i accidentally make a 2019 edit instead of 2018 did i flop oh my god her doing this style this is gonna be the new her the sun praying to god not this is so modern i can't believe it emily gets it you just had to be there this is so 2019 damn i was off my whole year oh my god 2018 vibes yes finally oh my god yup this is so 2018 I actually miss the old community. You and me both. These times were so much simpler. I miss it. Eight, 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 eight. Okay. I guess I eight, I guess. Lauren, OMFG is this cap cut. It's giving 2018 edits era. Yes. Bro, I won't lie. This kind of mid Lauren. Expected better. <laughs> Finally, someone being a realist. I mean, oh my God, someone responded to, this is so 2019 with, it's 2018, God. Oh, another comment like that. It's 2018, dot, dot, dot. So Horniana definitely was an OG, I can tell. This is so for an undercover video. Okay, not undercover, but for a video. So congratulations to Isabel X Potter for being the first and currently the only person to say something like this. Why is this so 2018? I don't know, I don't know. I miss when this was what my Insta feed looked like. You're great as always, Lauren. Oh, that's sweet. I just time traveled. This is so Sister Squad Riverdale season two core. Exactly. Oh my God. Stella gets it. Lauren noticed AE. So accurate. This is literally how I wanted to edit OMG. No, literally me too. And now that I can, pretty fulfilling. All right, guys, that's all for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed. And here are two things I want to hear from you. Number one, video requests, of course. What do you want to see me do next? And two, what year or years was your favorite era of the editing community? All right, guys, I hope you have a great day or night wherever you are. And Bye.